Episode 33 of Ask EJ. Got three questions. All right, let's get it on with the get ons. All right. Matt from from St. Peter. St. Peter? Yep, that's Saint it. St. Peter what? Doesn't say. Okay, maybe it is St. Peter. Hi, my wife shoots a full-size MMP9 and consistently shoots low right. She is an experienced hunter and understands sight picture but cannot seem to get her grouping centered. How do I help her? I have not missed an episode of the Ask EJ series. Did he say what hand she is? What hand she shoots with? Um, shoots low right. She's an experienced hunter. Does not say what, what hand. Oh. All right. Uh, if you're a right-handed shooter and you're shooting, we say low right. Low right. More than likely, you're over gripping, and uh, you're squeezing the whole hand as well as the trigger finger. Would be my guess. I haven't seen how off that shot is to the right, but you know, kind of looks like that where you're squeezing the trigger. You're pulling the trigger, right? But what you're really doing is you're gripping the whole hand when you do it. Uh, and then kind of looks like, I don't know, it's hard for me to demonstrate, it looks weird. But I'd look at that. What you have to do right there is isolate the trigger finger in the movements. So get a good grip, leaving the trigger finger out. And then we only move that trigger finger to pull the trigger. What you're doing, if you're right handed shooter, shooting low right more than likely and again I haven't seen it so I'm just kind of guessing here is you're pulling with the whole hand and it's causing it to drop right I guess like I said I haven't seen it if you're a left handed shooter and you're shooting low right jerking the trigger cool well now they know both and it's kind of like saying, why is my hair messed up? I don't know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> All right. Cool. Like, I wish I could be of more assistance, but, you know, that's about it. Cool. Next question comes from Rusty out of South Haven. Says that you know him. Uh, what's I know your... a Rusty in South Haven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He asks, what's your knowledge of the High Point 995 TS carbine rifle? And that he says you can still come ride Unit 8 anytime you want. Hmm. Uh, let's see. A High Point 9 whatever, what do you say? 995. Hell, it don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> Uh, Rusty, those who can afford to get a pistol caliber type rifle-ish thing, don't buy nine high points. But, I mean, you can. I just wouldn't bet my life on it because there are other more reliable things out there that you can afford. Uh... unless you just want something to play with at the range or whatever. So, as a friend, I would tell you, don't put your life on the line if you can afford to purchase otherwise. Uh, don't put your life on the line with a high point. I mean, it, it very possibly could take care of business. It very possibly could fall apart on you when you need it the most. So if you can afford not to take that type of chance, don't take it. So, I mean, I know that there are high points out there that, you know, have done awesome for people. And I also know that a broken clock is right twice a day. Just better hope your gunfight happens on that twice a day that that clock is right. Again, when you can afford to buy something that has proven itself to be a lot more reliable, and I know that you can, then I would do it. Now, on the other side, if you just bought a toy to goof off with, uh, okay, have fun. 
enjoy it. So that's what I would say on a high point nine, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And uh, as far as riding unit eight, I still have the scars from unit eight. <laughs> Two milligrams of Narcan's awesome. All right. Appreciate that. All right, let's move on. All right. Number three comes from Dan out of Boston, Massachusetts. Hey, EJ. Just Hold up. You say Boston? Boston. We have somebody from Boston that actually watches this thing? We do. Holy crap. Yep. What do you know? Wow. I thought we were just south of the Mason-Dixon, east of the Mississippi. You are wrong, Senor. Uh, apparently not. So he says that uh, he loves the channel. He's a huge fan. That's uh, cool. Yeah. He Boston. is new to the firearms world and is looking to gain as much knowledge as he can uh, purchased a Ruger LC 9S pistol for EDC which I carry in an alien gear inside the waistband holster and my carry ammo is Hornady Critical Defense I just recently picked up a Bushmaster XM15 E2S rifle before the Attorney General up here in good old communist mass banned him that's correct Anyways, as a new gun owner looking to start a practical defensive arsenal, what is the next type of gun I should be looking for as my third purchase? Thanks. He's got a pistol and an AR? Yep. Yeah, get a shotgun. Yep, that's what I do. Get a shotgun. Uh, you know, just like Joe Biden says, you know, just go out <laughs> on your balcony and fire two shots. <laughs> That'll scare them away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, no, but a, a, seriously, a shotgun. Like a Remington 870 or a Mossberg 500, you know. Somewhere around in there. You know, they've got some semi automatic versions of said shotguns, but I prefer the pump action for a home defense situation. But that's just me. But yeah, a shotgun, man. Oh. Is that three? That's three. Oh. All right. Yeah, Boston, get you a uh, get you a shotgun. Hopefully, the yeah, comrades up there and in, in the, the the government won't uh, won't outlaw or make illegal shotguns. No. Uh, let's see. Can't believe Rusty would ask about a high point something or other <laughs> you know sometimes these paramedics don't have sense God gave it Billy Goat that's why they run into blood and guts so you gotta <laughs> cut them some slack <laughs> alright uh, well good alright well thanks for joining, joining us uh, Sheepdogs we got more on in, uh, going on uh, in the after show sheepdogsociety.org alright Checks out on all those social media sites, you know, the face grams and the, the Twitter books and stuff. All right. all right, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Sheepdogs, we'll see you on the inside. As always, stay alert and bright soft.